I guess many of the people who might be watching this uh, might have heard the technology, the CRISPR-Cas9 technology, the CRISPR mutagenic system. So what this is, is it's the ability to go in and edit the genome of whether it's a tissue and culture, so single cells, or in the animal models that we work genome. with. And that's really useful for ALS researchers because we can go in and we can make the exact same mutation and then study it in an animal model and do things in, obviously in an animal model that you just can't obviously do in a, in a patient. That's the, that's the, the funding technology that, uh, that ALS Canada has, has given me and I'm very grateful for it. All I know is, well, if you can, you know, if you can make that mutation in an animal model, why can't you go to a human being within, with, with ALS and fix that mutation? And um, that is a wonderful goal. That would be a wonderful goal because that, that has a chance to actually possibly provide a, provide a cure for the disease. The reality is, is that we're, we're not there yet. Uh, this technology needs to be refined. There's a clinical trial going on that's targeting uh, SOD1, and there's another one for patients who have the C9 ORF72 repeats. And I think that is going to be really the big, uh, the big success story in the next few years for ALS.